This is part 88 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between except and not in operators in SQL Server. This is continuation to part 87, so please watch part 87 before proceeding. In the previous video session, we discussed that the except operator returns all the rows from the left query that are not there in the right query's results. Not in operator also does exactly the same thing. Let's understand this with an example. Here we've got two tables, table A and table B. Notice both the tables have got the same number and type of columns. If you look at the data, the employee rows 2 and 3 are present in both the tables. Now what we want to do is write a query that's going to return us only the rows that are present in table A but not in table B. To achieve this, we can either use the except operator or not in operator. Let's look at that in action. So when we execute this select query, we are going to get all the rows and columns from table A. Now let's use the except operator and then select ID name gender from table B. So if we execute this query, we should get only the rows that are present in table A but not in table B. So notice we just get that one row which is present only in table A but not in table B. Now, we can achieve this exact same thing using not in operator as well. Let's see how to do it using the not in operator. So we want to select ID name gender from table A where ID not in select ID from table B. So let's execute these two queries together notice we get exactly the same result for both the queries. So the obvious next question that comes to our mind is, well, then what's the difference between except and not in operators? There are two key differences. Except operator filters, duplicates, and returns only distinct rows from the left query that are not there in the right query's results, whereas not in does not filter the duplicates. Let's understand this difference with an example. At the moment, if you look at the data that we have got in table A, we don't have any duplicate rows. Now what I'm going to do is insert another record for Mark. So we will have the same ID name and gender. So let's execute this insert query right here. Now if we select what we have in table A, notice that Mark record is repeated twice. Now when we execute this accept query, Notice we get only one row for mark. That means the duplicates are filtered. Whereas when we execute this not in query, notice that we get the duplicates. So the primary difference is that except filters the duplicates, whereas not in will not filter the duplicates. Another difference is that except operator expects the same number of columns in both the queries, whereas not in compares a single column from the outer query with a single column from the subquery. So if you look at the except operator here, notice we have got two select queries, you know, on the left side of the except operator and on the right side of the except operator. And if you look at the number of columns, they are exactly the same. Now what's going to happen if the number changes. So now one query has got two columns and the other query has got three columns. When we execute that we get an error saying all queries combined using a union intersect or except operator must have an equal number of expressions in the target list. Whereas if you look at the not in operator it compares a single column from the outer query with a single column from the subquery. So if you look at this not in query here, so we are comparing ID with ID. So there's only one column in the outer query that we are comparing with one column in the subquery. Now what do you think is going to happen if this subquery is going to return maybe two columns? So when we execute this again, we are going to get an error. And if you look at the error, it says only one expression can be specified in the select list when the subquery is not introduced with excess. So those are the key differences between except and not in operators in SQL Server. Thank you for listening and have a great day.